sisters. I just want to say, keep staying strong. I know that this is a really hard time and we're all so isolated, but um, praying every single day that this will get better. And I have so much respect for you guys and everything that you do from the bottom of my heart. And I hope that you guys have a great day. Hi sisters, so I just wanted to send you this video to hopefully lift your spirits, make you laugh a little. Um, my name is Isabel and I actually got to visit you guys freshman year. Um, I got to get a little tour and meet some of you guys and it was really fun. So I just wanted to maybe tell some jokes and I hope you really like them. Okay, so my first joke is, did you hear about the claustrophobic astronaut? Yeah, he just needed a little space. But um Okay. I hope you liked that one. Um my second joke is what part of the body always loses? I'll give you a minute. It's defeat. Huh? Like the feet. It's so funny. I love that one. And then my third one is how do cats like their steak? This is probably my favorite one, it's so funny. Okay, the answer is rare. <laughs> um, yeah, so like rare steak, I love it so much. Um, and then my fourth one is, what is the worst place you can hide in a hospital? And the answer is the ICU. Okay, well, I hope you guys really liked those jokes. Um, I just want to send you best wishes, and I know it's hard for all of us during quarantine and all of this COVID stuff, but um, I miss you guys a lot, and yeah, you guys are all in my prayers. God bless. Hi, BVM sisters. I hear you guys are having kind of a hard time in isolation, and so I hope these jokes make you feel better. Um, okay, what do you call a sleeping dinosaur? A dinosaur. What happens to a frog's car when it breaks down? It gets towed away. <laughs> what did the duck say to the cashier when she bought lipstick? Put it on my bill. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Hello, um, I'm Peter Curran, and I'm here to tell you a joke. Why don't eggs tell each other jokes? because they'd crack each other up. <laughs> Hi, my name is Luke Nawabach, and I'm a junior at Carmel, and I'm here to tell you a joke. How many tickles does it take to get an octopus to laugh? 10 tickles. Hi, my name's Hannah, and I hope this brightens your day. Why do we tell actors to break a leg? Because every play has a cast. How many times can you subtract 10 from 100? Once. The next time you would be subtracting 10 from 90. A woman in labor suddenly shouted, shouldn't, wouldn't, couldn't, didn't, can't. Don't worry, said the doctor. Those are just contractions. Why did the teddy bear say no to dessert? Because she was stuffed. When looking for something, why is it always in the last place you looked? Because when you find it, you stop looking. What did the ocean say to the other ocean? Nothing, it just waved. Do you want to hear a construction joke? Sorry, I'm still working on it. Why should you never trust stairs? They're always up to something. What does a house wear? Address. What do you get from a pampered cow? Spoiled milk. How does NASA organize a party? They plan it. Bye. Hi, I'm Jimmy Murphy, and I'd like to tell you some jokes. What is the best part about Switzerland? I don't know, but the flag is a big plus. Why did the frog take the bus to work? Because his car got towed away. 
why did the Oreo go to the dentist? He lost his feeling. Why did the M&Ms go to school? They wanted to be a smarty. Hi, my name is Leah and I go to Carmel High School and I'm going to be telling you some jokes today. Um, what do dentists call their x-rays? Toothpicks. Did you hear about the first restaurant to open on the moon? It had great food, but no atmosphere. What did one ocean say to the other ocean? Nothing, it just waved. Do you want to hear a construction joke? Sorry, I'm still working on it. What does a nosy pepper do? It gets jalapeno business. Why should you never trust stairs? They're always up to something. Why did the bullop end up losing his job? He got fired. And the last one, how do you measure a snake? In inches, they don't have feet. Thank you and happy holidays. Hi, BVM sisters. Here's some jokes for you. <laughs> Why are Adams Catholic? Because they have mass. Why didn't they play cards on the ark with Noah? Because Noah was always standing on the deck. Hope this cheers you guys up in quarantine. Hello there, BVM sisters. My name is Eric Walshman. I'm from Carmel Catholic. And I'm going to be telling you some Christmas themed jokes. It's that time of year. You look down the street, you see the, you see the lights, you see the Christmas trees. You see it everywhere. What a better way to celebrate this season with some Christmas jokes. So uh, hopefully you guys like them. You know, laugh with me, laugh at me. I don't care. Just whatever gets you guys laughing. Okay, so we're going to start off with your classic Christmas knock-knock joke. You ready? All right, knock-knock. Who's there? Mary. Mary who? Merry Christmas. Bet you guys didn't expect that one. That's a good one. All right, no more knocked out jokes. That's all I got for those. You're sick of them anyways, I can tell. All right, the next one is, why did the Christmas tree get fired from the blood bank? Why did he get fired? Because he was dropping all the needles. <laughs> That's why. All right, the next one is about snowman. What did the snowman say to the carrot? Get out of my face, dude. <laughs> That's what he said. That's what the snowman said. That's crazy, because snowman can't talk. Ever since uh, I've noticed that, they never talk to me. Like, who's talking with all these snowmen? All right, so now we got no more question jokes. Now we just got the, the dialogue, just me talking jokes. All right, so this is a story. It's a story about my dad. All right, so my dad, he's always the guy in charge of shopping for the Christmas ham, you know? So he goes to Jewel, and he's in the ham section, the big ham section, got ham far as the eye can see. But he looks at the ham, and it's this big, and he looks at the other one, and the other one's just the same size, it's like so small. He keeps on going down the aisle, and he's like, what's happening? These are the smallest hams ever. So he goes to the store clerk, and he says, uh, do they get any bigger? And the store clerk says to him, uh, no sir, they're dead. <laughs> so, <laughs> I hope you like that one. All right, we got one more, one more to round it all off. Uh, this is another story about something I did with my friend. Okay, so I want to play a prank on my friend. So I, uh, I hired out this big truck, I filled it, all the way to the top with snow. I'm talking tons of snow. You have no idea how much this thing. So it cut me off for the last one, but I think this is great because this is the last joke and you might love it so much that you want to share it with all your friends. So uh, this is just a nice bite-sized piece that you, can, that you can do that with. All right, here we go. So like I was saying, my friend, I want to play a prank on him. Got a truck, a truckload of snow. 
I'm talking biggest truck you've ever seen, you know, those big ones, with the little container, you know what I mean. So I go to his house, and I pour a truckload of snow onto his yard, right? Then I go, I give him a call, and I say, hey, did you get my drift? <laughs> All right, that's the last joke. I hope I cheered you guys up. I hope you liked the jokes. Uh, and just have a Merry Christmas. Uh, we love everything you're doing, and uh, stay cool, sisters. Hi, BVM sisters. My name's Annie, and I'm a senior at Carmel, and I am here to tell you a few holiday jokes. So I hope they make you laugh, and I hope all of you are doing well during this time. Why does Scrooge love reindeer so much? Because every single buck is dear to him. What do you call a broke Santa Claus? St. Nicholas. <laughs> And finally, what did Adam say to his wife on Christmas? It's finally Christmas Eve. Well, I hope that those made you laugh or smile, and I hope that all of you are doing well, and I will keep you in my thoughts and prayers. Take care. Hi, BBM sisters. My name is Riley Clark, and I attend Carmel Catholic High School, and I have a joke for you guys for Christmas. Who is the greatest comedian in the Bible? Samson because he brought the house down. Hi, I'm Colleen Ann. I'm a junior and I actually had the opportunity to go to the BBM mother house when I was a freshman and I had so much fun. So I wanted to share a few jokes and I have three of them but I can't take credit for any of them because I didn't come up with them. The first two I learned when we picked out our Christmas tree this year. So the first one is why did the woman put band-aids in her refrigerator? For her cold cuts. And then the second one, two coins are on a ledge of the fence. One of them is a dime and the other is a nickel. The nickel falls through, but the dime does not. Why does that happen? Because the dime had more sense. And then the last one, I heard actually today during the homily at Mass. So a little boy named Jimmy asked God, he said, God, what does a hundred years feel like to you? And God said, one minute. And then he asked God, what does a million dollars look like to you? And he said, one penny. So the little boy asked God, hey God, can I have a penny? And God said, sure, give me a minute. Thank you guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Bye. Hello BVM sisters. My name's Matthew Walzer and I'm a senior at Carmel Catholic. At Carmel, I play lacrosse and I'm on the math team, robotics team, and the mock trial team. I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving and I was sending you this video to make sure everyone's in the Christmas spirit. I myself turned on red and green lights, which you may be able to see a little bit to help bring up the cheer um, and to keep the spirit alive uh, I thought I would tell some Christmas jokes so my first one is who is San Santa's favorite singer and it's Elf is Presley and then to follow that one up who is Rudolph's favorite singer and it's Beyond Slay I hope everyone has a great Christmas Sisters, I have a few jokes for you today. What did the cow say on the bus? Move over. What happens to a frog's car when it breaks down? It gets towed away. What did the duck say when he bought lipstick? Put it on my bill. What time does a duck wake up? The quack of dawn. And how does NASA organize a party? They plan it. I hope you enjoyed these jokes and Merry Christmas.